Hello everyone, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to make your own custom logos using the cubicle.us's custom logo service. I'll be covering every single aspect of every single detail in the ordering process. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is um, head off to the cubicle.us. Um, now, you're not going to order it yet, but um, you'll see. Um, you want to go to custom logos here. Um, so, here. Custom logos. Go to this tab. Um, and you're going to choose between one of these. This will give you only 3x3 three three logos. Um, and this will give you the assorted logos, such as for Pyraminx and Square One and all that fancy stuff. Skube, whatever. Um, I chose this one, so I'll go to this one. Now, you want to familiarize yourself with everything on this page. This will basically give you um, all the details you'll need for um, the ordering process. Um, so, read over all this. Make sure you know it all. With that said... Um, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. So now we're going to actually go to designing the logo. Um, so you're going to use whatever image editing software or whatever whatever image creating software you want to use. I'll be using um, paint.net. Um, just look it up if you don't have it. Um, you can use whatever you want. I know the cubologist used uh, Photoshop, I believe. I don't have Photoshop, so I'm going to go to paint.net. It didn't pull up. Okay, so I finally got paint.net up. <laughs> that was really dumb. Alright, so now I have paint.net pulled up, um, and this is where you're going to actually design your custom logo. Uh, now, I'm not actually going to go into um, actually designing the logo until the end of this video. I will cover what I did. But for now, I'm just going to cover, you know, what you need to know and all that fancy stuff. Basically, all the um, things you need, all the settings you need to have it at. Um, so I'm using paint.net, of course. Um, if you're using a different software, then it might be different for you. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to show what I did. So, first thing you need to get you're going to need to do is um, change the image size. Um, now, I know the cubologist um, set it to 1280, I think, by 720 pixels. Um, but that's not what I did. I just did 1280 pixels and by 1280 pixels because I figured, well, it's cubic. So, yeah. I set it to 1280 by 1280. Uh, and to get to that, you're going to go to image if you're using paint.net go to image this image tab right here and then go to canvas size um and then width height um and you're going to change both of those to whatever you want to have it at i did it to 1280 um to for both the width and height make sure you don't have this checked um or it'll maintain the aspect ratio so don't have this checked if you're using paint.net i'm just going to show using paint.net. Um, so now you're going to, what did I just do? Oh god. Oh, okay, it's just really laggy. So now you're going to design your custom logo, and that's not what I'm doing here. I'm just making, um, insert design here. This is where your design is going to be. Once you're done, you should have something that looks nice, like not this, but this is just a placeholder kind of thing. Um, once you have your image, I mean, once you've designed your custom logo the way you want it to, you're going to save it as, um, whatever you want to name it as, um, and I saved mine as a JPEG. So, I would recommend saving it as a JPEG, um, I'd also recommend 1280 by 1280 pixels, um, this worked out very well for me, you're more than welcome to try different settings if you want to but that's what I did and it worked out well for me so that's basically it um, for designing the logo uh, 
uh, try to use up the whole space if you just, for example, if I undo all this, if you make, if you just use like this much of the space you have here, um, it's going to look really small. Um, so try to use up kind of the whole space here. Um, it's Texas. No, <laughs> but yeah, just try to use up as much of the space as you can. I mean, don't like fill up the whole square with stuff, but you know, don't make it too small basically is what I'm saying here. Don't make like something like this just in the middle of it. Feel free to u just use up the whole thing. Make it as big as you need it to. Uh, now we're going to exit out of that. Um, whoops. Alright, exit out. That's basically it for the image itself. So now we're going to go on to the ordering process. So go ahead to the cubicle.us. I'm going to sign in here. I'll cut this out. Alright, you're going to want to sign in. Um, I've already signed in and I cut it out because I don't want you to see my login and stuff. Uh, now you're going to want to go to whichever one you want to go to. So I will go to the 140 assorted logos and this is basically what you want to do. Um, unless you just want 3x3 three three logos I'd recommend going with the assorted logos. Um, so you're going to go here to your whichever one you're going to order and you're going to add it to cart like so I I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so now um going to check out um we're going to I'm going to show you everything you need to do in the order comments and and the email that you're going to send cuz you'll need to send an email to them specifying all the information as well all right so now, in the order comments, you're going to basically specify, be as specific as possible with it. Um, don't worry about being too specific. It's better to be safe than sorry, trust me. Um, I specified this as much as I could, and I had no problems with it. Um, so I'd recommend doing everything that I say to do in this, because... Uh, you you can feel free to not do it, but I'd recommend specifying it as much as possible. So, I am going to basically recreate what I did in my first order. So I will recreate what I did in the comments, and I'll be right back once I've done so. Okay, so this is a much simple, much more simplified version of the order comments that I did. Mine were a lot more a lot longer because I had two different designs and I had a lot of special requests but this is basically what you want to do um so just say what email address you're going to send the email from because you will be emailing them uh, you'll say include the title of the email as well so if you're going to title the email custom logos which is what I'd recommend titling it then um, say that you're going to title it custom logos here um, and also give the name of the image file that you'll be attaching. So, uh, I just have the example here and the example for the email address. So, example.jpg, um, just replace example with whatever, example.jpg with whatever your image file name is, um, and you should be set. So that's really it for the order comments. Once you've done this, you're going to proceed to check out. I'm not going to do this because I've already ordered custom logos but that's basically it so go ahead and check out and then once you've done that you're gonna wanna send your email okay now for the email that you're going to send um so again this is found on this page if you have any questions just feel free to go back to this once you have placed your order um you're going to send an email to support at the cubicle dot us so I'm gonna go ahead to my email so now I've pulled up my email and basically just recreate what I'm doing here. So you're going to send it to support at the cubicle.us. 
and that's who you're going to send it to. Um, the subject is going to be whatever you specified in the email. So for me, it was custom logos. Um, and yeah, type in all the information. I'm going to recreate basically what I did in my last order that I did. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty simple. That's all you really need to do. Um, just type in, um, make sure all the information matches up. Um, specify the order number if you can. Um, I definitely recommend this. Again, it's better to be too safe than not safe enough. Um, now you're going to want to attach your um, image. Um, I'm using Gmail, so it might be different if you're using a different email thing email website um so you're just gonna want to attach your image I don't remember which one it is um which one is the JPEG I think it's this one no it's that's PDN um so it's this one there so you're attaching your image and that's basically it after that you send it and then you simply wait and that's basically how you custom logos so now that all of that is out of the way um that's basically it once you've done all that all you have to do is wait for your custom logos to come in and enjoy. Now that all of that is out of the way, we're going to go back to paint.net. So now I'm just going to recreate, basically, I'm going to demonstrate what I did to create my custom logos for the design and everything. Um, so if you don't um, have any experience or anything um this is basically for you although um I'm not good at designing so you can probably learn a lot better from somebody else but I will just be showing what I did so I'm gonna go to image here canvas size um we're gonna make it 1280 by 1280 as I said before in the tutorial so here we go now the design is totally up to you um but I'm going to be showing what I did to make my own custom logo so what I did I went to text here um and I typed in some fancy I'll, I'll show what I did for the cube logo um just typed in some text here uh and then I set it to a really big font I set the font size to like something really big um Oh yeah, you're going to change the font to your preferred font. I used uh, this one here. This is called Aurora. This is a really nice font. Um, I centered this on here like this-ish, kind of. That is good. Uh, and now I went to Layers. Or did I? Oh, oh excuse me. Um, I have to go back here. That's not exactly what I did. Um, So before I did this I actually created a new layer here um and then I did this um so now once you've got that make sure you have layer 2 selected here because that's what your text is on um go to layers and I rotated this uh by 45 degrees that's stupid um 45 so like this um now I had to do a little bit of um experimenting with this because sometimes it'd be too far left, sometimes it'd be too far right, and sometimes it'd be too far up, and sometimes it'd be too far down. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that too much just for the tutorial, but um yeah, so that's basically what I did to get it like this. Um, and to get all the fancy colors, um, what I did was I went to the magic wand tool here. Where is it? Th this one. Um, I selected an area that I wanted to color um and then I took the gradient tool here um and you can select whichever one you want to I mainly use this one the linear gradient um and now you're gonna select two colors for this I just did red I think and blue and did this basically um if you've seen my video where I actually unbox the custom logos you can see this and I did stuff like that and basically that's what I did for all of them so you know, I'm gonna so magic wand again select this one and do another gradient again you don't have to do what I'm doing here 
I'd recommend you not do what I'm doing here because I'm I can't design for crap. But um, make another gradient here. Um, kind of like this. That's that looks fun. Um, and basically that's what I did for this logo. And then um, that's what I did for the cube logo. And that's basically it. So I think I've covered everything for the custom logos. Um, make sure you save it as a whatever image file you want to. I saved it as a JPEG. Whoops. And that's basically it. Um, hopefully this helped you to make your own custom logos. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and that's basically it. So, have fun making your custom logos, and bye. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, God. Hang on. Good thing I can edit this all out. <laughs> oh, God. Paint.net, please pull up. Hello. Hi. Pull up, please. Why is it not pulling up? Paint.net. Let's end that. Alright. Now, paint.net.